Uh, I also picked up Star Trek Bridge Crew. Oh, you mentioned that you were going to get that. How's that working? I, out for I you? did get it. I uh, it's on PS4 and PC. I bought it on PC because it was cheaper, and I didn't have to use VR. I think you have to use VR on PS4. I'm not sure. Um, so I got this that. It's like a next... card game to me. Like this is this a Star Trek game where they're playing oh Bridge cards. Crew. Yeah. You play Bridge <laughs> with with Captain Picard. Right. It sort of is, dude. It it kind of feels that way when you're Do playing. Do you have it. any sevens? It seems like it's a pretty great game. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like that poker game that yeah, the Telltale uh, poker game. That? Yeah, yeah. I uh, that was a great game. This I enjoyed seems that like game. a no brainer here. It's a good idea, Ship. You should uh, we should talk. Let's, let's erase this out of the show and start company. <laughs> <laughs> let's hear about uh, what what the. What they actually did with Bridge Crew when they didn't think of this. Oh, yeah. So it's, you know, you everybody is playing at one station on the ship. There's a captain, there's tactical, there's engineering, and there's something else. <laughs> I forgot. Driving. Um, yeah, driving. That's right. Helm, the helm. Helmsman. And uh, it is pretty cool to play with other people online. And you're you're basically role-playing. You know, the captain, you know, and you say, yes, captain, and blah, blah, blah. It's, I wish it was more of a AAA product in that it doesn't have any music from the movies or TV show. It doesn't have any, you know, obviously no, none of the voices or real characters from the show. I think the music would be the most important thing that they could add to make it feel like you're you really... could just play the music in your house. Yeah, just through your through your headset. I so know, can enjoy but it. I know, but it just makes such a big difference. And even like, I feel like they could make that DLC, and people would pay whatever they asked. I mean, not whatever they asked, but fifteen bucks for all the real music. I mean, people understand that that costs money, and this is not a big budget game. It was. It's pretty fun. I'd like. I think. You got to really play this with your friends, though, because you're doing it's mostly just you talking with your friends, like people telling you what to do and then laughing when you get blown up. So you're playing as the next generation. This is the the expansion. I've tried both. OK, um, it's it's really cool. I think, you know, I haven't played it in VR and I can see how it would be pretty amazing to have this in VR and look up and see the big screen and all that shit. So the original man, the, music. Was, the original version was the original version of Star Trek. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I did, it could be something goofy where they did like a Deep Space 9 or something. Just... Yeah. It's pretty cool and you can play it's cross platform play, so PS4 people can play with PC people. Um, I don't know. Just like in Fortnite. Right. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be cool to play with people that I knew. I think that would be fun. It's a little weird to jump into a room with strangers in, in a game where you're talking so much. And it's like, so it's, it is weird. Like you're role playing. So I don't know. It's fun though. Star Trek Bridge Crew. Check it out on the cheap if you can. 